Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, April 19th, 11.09 a.m. Technically still morning. I know this because I'm in front of the computer. I have been video editing most of the morning. Uh, once everyone left to go over to the kids' house to continue work today on that, um, I was able to come up here and edit, video edit. So I got two more kids' art videos done and I got the vlog done. So as soon as they're done rendering and saving, I will be setting them to load to YouTube today and get that done today because I think we're back to folks working at home tomorrow and that means the Wi-Fi and Ethernet will be taken. So I don't want to clog it up with trying to load the YouTube videos. People need the bandwidth. So anyway, before I get started on today's drawings, I am going to go downstairs and I've got a bunch of baby bell peppers and some onions and things like that. I want to cut up and put in bags in the freezer. Um, not that things are hard to come by, but they're not being eaten super fast. And so I want to preserve them while I can. And I can just chop them up. I don't have to blanch them or anything and stick them in the freezer. And then they can be used for stir fry or whatever. So I'm going to do that today. I'll leave one or two in the, in the, in the veggie drawer, but I'm going to chop up the bulk of them. It was cheaper right now to buy a big bag of onions than it was to buy just one or two onions. So I'm gonna cut them up and get that done and have some lunch and then get back up here and do my drawings and all of that stuff. So I guess we should get to it. I'll be back. Okay, got some Etsy orders filled. I got a word on my positive affirmation doll. I got my daily drawings done. I got three videos edited, all loaded to YouTube. Two are kids art videos, so they're already live. The other one is the vlog for Wednesday. And it's kind of late in the day to start a slow stitching project, although I am tempted. I took a picture here of some pretty purple flowers. I'll insert a copy of it here somewhere. And I'm very tempted to use it for inspiration for a slow stitching project. So tempted. I also discovered recently a, st a slow stitching channel that I'm very intrigued with. I'll link it below. She has a project where she's working on a strip of fabric that she's winding around a wooden spool. Interesting and intriguing. I'm really all about the slow stitching right now. I've almost stopped painting and doing the art paper clips almost completely because I'm just enamored with the slow stitching. I don't know what to tell you all. Um, I'm still doing the other stuff, but the slow stitching is taking up my time. Um, I also was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, one of her older videos, uh, Bernadette Banner, and she was using a pair of scissors like this. Um, and I've actually seen the video before, and I thought then, hey, I have those, or something like those. And uh, when I re-watched it the other night, I thought, you know, I, I should get those out. So I do have these. These are part of a Renaissance Fair costume I have. So fun fact, husband and I like to go to Renaissance Fairs. Now and then we do dress up. And this is part of one of my costumes, but I thought, you know, I definitely could use those in the art room. They are a very sharp pair of scissors. Okay. Hold on a second. They're a very sharp pair of scissors that have their own sheath uh, here. They look like a dagger. They're, you know, intentionally made to look like a dagger. They're very sharp. She uses them for fabric cutting, and I thought, well, I could do that with these. And they're just sitting up in the closet. I shouldn't probably be waving around near my face like that. Because, yeah, anyway, <laughs> I also have a dagger up there, too, um, in the closet with the other stuff. Anyway, I can't get the sheath. There we go. Back on. Um, anyway, I also made a load of sourdough crackers. They turned out great. Uh, they're very tasty. I'm the only one home, so I'm the only one who's had me. And I'm working on a loaf of bread. I need to empty the dishwasher now because, yeah, there's a crap ton of dirty dishes. <laughs> I'm going to turn this off. I'm gonna go downstairs. I do have a book to read that I haven't finished yet, a Jean Haynes watercolor book. So I need to finish that. That's gonna be my priority rather than starting another stitching project because I really wanna um, go through that book and get it finished reading and mark pages for um, some of her examples for um, technique that I wanna try. 
Um, and then I, I put flags on the pages and then I bring the book upstairs and then I work it with my paints in my journal, trying the techniques she's talking about. That's how I work through her books. So I wanna do that uh, coming up over the next week or two. It's not like we're any of us going anywhere. I mean, you know, I got plenty of time here. <laughs> All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. I will say if you're walking, watching this in the future, Google the year 2020 and the global pandemic. You'll know what I'm talking about. All right, I'll be Last back. Thing. If you're watching this um, and you're from the Kids Art series, um, I am thinking that we're going to finish up the sketchbook hopefully this week. And then I want to do a couple of tutorials on some little paintings. So um, if you have any other ideas for kids art related video content, something specifically you'd like to see me um, show a tutorial on, let me know in the comments below here on the vlog and we will get it done. I'll be back. I don't think I've vlogged at all today. <laughs> it's, uh, what time is it? 2.44 on day the 20th. Yeah, because it's marijuana day. <laughs> Monday, 4.20. Anyway, um, I got up early uh, because I had to um, go to the grocery store again and the local dealership picked up my car and changed the oil and there was an airbag recall so they fixed that and then they brought it back. Got all the groceries I need. I got lucky. I got almost everything I needed, which is unusual, including flour and disinfecting wipes, which is weird that I found them, but I got them, the minimum. Um, I just got two. I don't need to hoard them, but you know. Um, then I spent the rest of the afternoon drawing illustrations of my pandemic apocalypse zombie, zombie dolls. <laughs> And they are now a digital file over in Etsy and um, free to purchase and download and reprint how you will. And at some point I may make them into other products now that they're illustrations. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking and talking to people. Anyway, I'm going to get a snack and I'm going to watch my friend KP over at Art, the owner of Art Foamies. She's going to go live in just a minute. So I am going to go get my snack really quick and I'm gonna go watch her and that's a thing <laughs> um, I want to do some more stitching I don't know if I'm gonna get it done today I also have a book to finish so always something right all right anyway that's it I'll be back hey guys it's just after seven o'clock on Monday evening it is a beautiful evening out partially cloudy beautiful blue skies 68 degrees just right anyway we're gonna head out and get some walk get some walk <laughs> that's good english what does nerdy crafter say oh yeah english number one <laughs> well, i have trouble with english it's a good thing i don't know other languages um anyway we're headed out to get some steps in and um the reno on the kids house is coming along it <laughs> The stage one, it's only stage one, but it should be done enough that they can move in uh, sometime after today or tomorrow. And they may be moved in by the end of the month. We might be empty nesters again. Don't tell them I said so, but I kind of miss having the quiet time at home. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go get some steps. I'll be back. Hey guys, it's Tuesday, April 21st. Um, if you're watching this clip, you saw a little clip of me doing some more slow stitching. Uh, there's my pandemic hair. Yes, I'm very silver. <laughs> I wish it was pure white. 
but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I may just use this opportunity to let it go gray for a bit. I did promise my daughter I would not have gray hair for her wedding, whenever that is going to be now with the pandemic going on. So I will have to like do some kind of wash or rinse or something for the wedding. But I think when this whole thing is to a point where I can get back to my hairdresser, I'm going to discuss the whole idea with her and see what she recommends. Something that I can just like stop dyeing my hair and let it go. And for the wedding, I can put something in temporarily and then wash it out or, or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to feed the deer. I did some slow stitching. Of course, I did some chores. I have to do dishes again. <laughs> uh, and I need to sweep the floors, but I'm going to wait until after dinner tonight. There's going to be people in the house, including the children and... Lily and, you know, maybe best if I do it like right before bed, at least it'll be clean for a few hours. Um, anyway, I'm going to go check the mail too. I don't know if it's here yet, but you know, it'll give me something to do. I'm going to take a break from sitting at the table and give my knee a break because sitting at an angle at the table is not great for my knee. Um, I keep forgetting to put my knee up on the footstool under the table, which just doesn't help. Um, so I'm going to work it out a little bit, give, give it some exercise, which I should be doing more of. And yeah, <sighs> making it work with the current situation, right? That's what we're all doing. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is, what day is it? Wednesday morning. It's like 1130-ish. It's right before lunch. And yeah, it's been a good morning. I was able to get... Um, all of my stitchery supplies, embroidery, slow stitching, cross stitch next to the sewing machine. So all the stitching supplies are all in one area. There is a stash of fabric in the, in the closet in the art room, which is fine. But most of my supplies are next to the sewing machine, which is where I wanted them, including uh, my assortment of threads and things like that. I'm doing more stitching now. And I have in a long time and I'm really enjoying it, but I want everything in one place. And after much contemplation and working it out, I still have on that wall all of the painting, um, paint and supplies, mediums and supplies there. Um, but I have rearranged things so the art paint, artist paints, the stuff I use when I'm painting on canvas, is actually in the um, Ikea cart that I have next to the easel. And um, um, there's a section at the end of the wall where some stuff was that is um, like a bin of pallets and a bin of squeeze bottles and a bin of sponges and disposable applicators and stuff like that. So I think that's gonna work really well for me. And um, I also, of course, put some of my um, size 10 crochet thread, which I'm gonna use for slow stitching um, I knew I hung on to it for a reason. Anyway, of course, I not only filled a drawer, but I put it in Roy G. Biv order. <laughs> Makes for a pretty image. <laughs> when I took it for social media, I'll post it to social media later. Anyway, I uh, just took a load of trash out. I did bring some of my little bit of knitting supplies I have. Um, I don't keep, I don't do a lot of knitting or crocheting anymore. I do a little bit and some of the crochet stuff is already downstairs. I'm going to see if I can take the one basket and consolidate um, and put all of my knitting and crochet in one basket downstairs because when I do do it, I do it downstairs. I never do it upstairs, so it's something I do in front of the TV. And that noise in the background is the neighbors putting in new windows. So, yeah. All right, that's it for the moment. I'm going to wash my hands and go have some lunch, and I'll be this back. It's interesting. Our neighbors who own the house next door... Um, are going to be moving in the landlords they uh, renters left and they're remodeling the house because the landlord's actually going to be moving in and selling the other house he's been living in I knew this for a while um, but yeah so yeah so they put in one new window down there whoops where are we down there they're putting another one right outside my kitchen window so from a privacy standpoint that's a problem so I'm going to be want to be putting a mirror film or something on my window I think Planting some big bushes or something. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting.
we are headed out for this evening's walk. We took yesterday off. Um, and last week, I didn't get too many walks in because I was busy taking care of Lily and everybody else was working on the kid's house. Somebody had to babysit the dog. So anyway, I went out a couple times by myself, but not too much. Anyway, we're gonna try to get back to the regular routines today. As soon as we pick up Lily's leavings. It's a thing, I'll be back. Hey guys, it's Thursday afternoon, uh, April 23rd, 1.32 p.m. I was going to do this earlier and I just got lost in slow stitching and forgot. So I spent the morning working on the slow stitch project and I had a lot of fun with that. I also added some more faces to my people reference book and because when I was cleaning yesterday, I found a stash of faces that I'd evidently saved to put in there and then never put them in. So... I did that today. We're headed out for a walk again. Because, you know, it's our normal nightly routine. Until if and when they tell us we can't do that, we're going to keep walking. Hopefully it doesn't get that far, but we'll see. Anyway, of course, we've got Lily with us. Of course. But Lily and her parents are moving out in just about a week week in a couple of days so that'll be interesting getting used to just walking with just Bob and I anyway she's gonna do her business we're gonna be back by the way you hear that <laughs> yeah the bullfrogs are out we live near the protected woods and wetlands for those that don't know this is the view that we walk by, by our house, and somewhere down there is, you can see it a little bit there in the corner, is a creek. It goes through under the street, through to the other side. There's another one of these on the other side, and it seems like tonight the frogs are over there, so. Anyway, I have yet to actually get a picture of one, I just hear them all the time.
Hey guys, uh, the lighting is weird. Sorry, it's a cloudy overcast day here in uh, the Pacific Northwest. Big surprise, it's the Pacific Northwest. Um, anyway, it's three o'clock in the afternoon on Friday, April 24th. So we kind of started off the day. Um, get this open. Um, kind of good. I, I made a few. I've been very much into stitching, as you all know by now, if you've been watching the vlogs and social media and stuff. So I made some fabric scrap bags, just three of them uh, for sale in the Etsy shop, um, prompted by the fact that I want to add colors and fabrics and textures to my collection of things I'm stitching with. Uh, also, you know, I'm occasionally running out of this color of thread or that color of thread and then having to figure out how to get it and in these particular times um, that we're having right now that's really challenging so um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about go back if you're watching this in the future go back and google the year 2020 you'll figure it out um, anyway so I made some fab scrap fabric and embellishment bags um, for those who want to use fabric in their art or they're doing slow stitching or something like that there's three of them I'll put the listing down below um, and then my daughter was helping with dishes and yeah, um, I've never seen a knife do that. <laughs> so it's a Cutco steak knife. So they don't, they're guaranteed for life, but right now because of what's going on, um, the return center is closed because it's in New York state. So I was able to order a new knife, but I had to pay for it. Um, when this is all over with, I'll, send this back and get it they'll send me a new one um it'll just i guess be a back of knife but yeah that was weird um and then i got a new uh slow stitch all set up and ready to go it's very red but i like it i don't know why it's all red, but yeah i made myself a new uh pin cushion for my needles that i'm our pins i'm using for my slow stitching and i was keeping my needles on um, another pincushion. I didn't really like that too much. I kept poking myself for one thing. So I made a mini needle case like the other one I have in my sewing table. This just has embroidery needles in it. Um, nothing else. So the other one has all kinds of sewing needles, but that one's only for embroidery and this kind of thing. Um, what else did I do? Anything? I don't know. Seems like I did a lot. So we're out for our evening walk, but do y'all see something wrong? Yeah, it's all wrong. Wrong many levels. I walked out without my mask. I feel a little naked, to be honest. Anyway, we, it is Saturday afternoon, April 20, 25th? 25th. Like 1.30 or so. We're headed out for a walk, and I remembered my face covering this time. We were at the shops early this morning getting groceries. My husband's headset for his work at home system died. And so we had to go figure out how to get a new one at Best Buy without actually going in because you can't actually go in the store. That was interesting. And um, then we came home and just kind of putzed around the house. I did dye, uh, eco dye some fabric and these really big giant pink blossoms um, that I found in the neighborhood. I think they might be camellias, but I'm not sure. If I can get a picture of the bush, I'll insert it here somewhere. Anyway, there was a bunch of the flowers. They just fall off whole and hang on. Anyway, they just fall off whole. So the other night I brought a few of them home with me and they leave this beautiful pink color on the fabric. So we'll see what it looks like when it dries, but it's so cool. Okay, I don't know where I left off. The HOA president drove by anyway and lily left her little package and so bob went to go dispose of it but the camellias or whatever flowers they are again i'll find a picture for you um left this beautiful pink color on the fabric um and i can't wait to see when it dries um i'm gonna let them i ironed them to stain the fabric and imprint the fabric and then i'm gonna um let it dry a little bit naturally and then i may take an iron to it to finish drying it some more before peeling the foliage off so anyway I'll, I'll let you know what it looks like when it's all done I'll insert a picture about here somewhere all right I'll be back
This is just a couple blocks from our house, by the way. That pretty yeah, cool. Rain this morning, kind of hard. Yeah. Around 10 or 11. Yeah, we were just here a couple of days ago. Where is yeah. Fred? Oop, there he is. We were just here a couple days ago. It was yeah. bone dry. It was bone dry. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I need to cross the creek um, and and get up there without falling. Oh, we can do that. Mm, we'll see. I made it, yay. Got one more of those to go. We'll see how that, how I make that. Hey guys, so we're back from our walk and I have to say so much pink dye is coming off of these flowers onto the fabric. I'm kind of wondering what would happen if you boiled some of the flowers to try to make some ink out of them. I didn't pick any more up today, but we go out for walks almost every day and I might have to bring a bag with me and get some more flowers and try that. It's a thought. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm obviously back in the car. Um, I just got back in and situated and it's a bit warmish here today. So I have the air conditioner on. I look like crap, but you know, pandemic apocalypse fashion. <laughs> I don't know. But I, I needed to go back out because I finished up eco dyeing the fabric and I it turned out so good to start doing some slow stitching with the fabric, which is why I wanted to do some more eco dyeing anyway. But I had to go out and get more of the flowers because yeah, I mean, it turned out so well that I want to do some more. So I have another Ziploc bag full of flowers. I'll put it in the fridge and then tomorrow I'll be doing some eco dyeing tomorrow. Yay. So I put it in a plastic bag like this and then I put them in the fridge and then they're good for a day or two before they'll start to get weird and gross. Um, and you, um, they'll, it'll keep them fresh-ish so that you can still you do your eco whatever you're gonna do with it. And the Ziploc bag will keep any accidental creatures you happen to bring home locked inside. Hopefully there's none, but you know. I'm gonna iron it and smash the crap out of them if there is. Anyway, I'm gonna go back home now and I need some more water. I should probably do dishes and start thinking about dinner too. All right, I'll be back. So as I drive and try to find my way back home without GPS, that's always fun. Um, for those that don't know, I have absolutely no sense of direction. And combine that with the fact that I've only been in Oregon less than two years. So, you know, I didn't have a sense of direction at the old house, much less up here. So yeah, anyway, um, I don't know which way I want to go, but we're going to try this way. It's probably the wrong way. I have no idea. It might be the right way. I don't know. Anyway, as we do our little adventure of trying to get home, I want to um, tell you all that I will put any relevant links in the description below. If any of you know what kind of flowers those pink flowers are, again, I'll put another picture here. Please let me know, because I sort of low-key want my husband to plant a bush for me, just so that I can have the flowers once or twice a year to play with. Yeah. Um, so anyway, oh, I should I think I should have gone down one more street. Oops. Anyway, so I hope that um, you all have a had a great week. That you're making the most of being um, currently involved in the current world situation that we are all involved in. It is not fun, but it is what it is, and we need to try to make the best of it uh, as we can which I'm trying to do by playing with my art supplies, doing some more cooking, spending time with the family. So I hope you're doing the same and making the best of what is a crappy situation, that that's all we can do. I think I'm gonna try to go this way. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Myself, along with many, many other creatives here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, all have ways for you to support the free content. We all would appreciate you doing so, whether it's an Amazon affiliate link or it's an Etsy shop or a PayPal tip jar. 
We all have them and we would certainly love for you to look them up and use them, myself included. Mine are in the video description, as are a lot of creators here on YouTube. So don't forget to check out those video descriptions. If you can't find a way to support them, by all means, message them and ask. Um, they may have an Etsy store, they may have um, eBay auctions. I know some that do that. So, um, you know, ask them. And don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I will see you next week. Lord knows what we're going to get up to then, but we'll find out. All right, I'll be back.